Been here a long time. <laughs> wow. Whoa. My God. That's crazy. Oh, that was creepy. That door literally just opened on its own. Because we're absolutely risking our lives at this point. Oh my God, what the hell was that? All right guys, I have something absolutely incredible to show you. So today we have an affiliate sponsor for this video and what it is is this. This is known as an extra wallet. If you're like me and you constantly misplace your wallet by simply hiding it underneath, you know, a pile of paper on your desk or even your keys on your desk, they have products that can help you out with that. This wallet has a special device that tracks where your wallet is at all times. If you leave your extra behind, it even notifies you. It's super easy to set up on either your Apple or your Android. The tracker itself along with the wallet is super sleek and is great for those who hate old wallets just like this old bulky thing. The tracker not only shows the location of the wallet via GPS but can actually be rung in case you're like me and you decide to hide your wallet on yourself underneath a pile of paper. You can even take a selfie with the tracker which is absolutely amazing and even charges using the solar panel and holds a charge for at least three months. Last but not least you can do this. Cool, right? Honestly, I've been using it for months and now I absolutely love it. I do have a code available for this product in the description down below. As well, I will be tagging it in a uh, pinned comment. Before we get back to our adventure, I do want to say that I will be giving away one of these on Instagram. So definitely check out my Instagram page at Angebona TV. If you're not following me there yet, definitely head over and follow and look for the announcement of the giveaway of a free wallet from Exter along with a GPS tracking device. And now back to our haunted adventure. Adventure. What's up guys welcome back to a brand new video. We have been driving literally all day. I am with the boys uh, Carlo, Ethan and Terry and uh, we've come across this cottage. It's like a countryside cottage big property um, There's literally nothing around we're in the, in the absolute middle of nowhere um, Very windy roads very cool experience so far neat little adventure um, So we're gonna go inside and explore it hopefully as soon as we find uh, an open door which Terry is looking for obviously right now um, yeah take a look around here and uh, of course don't forget to smash that like button this is gonna be a really really neat explore this is cool check out this massive property over here wow the little tiny cottage you got Ethan over there looking at a uh, what I believe is a Chevy pickup which is really cool I'm gonna head over there now check this out Wow, holy crap, this is cool. Is it a Chevy? Maybe, I have a in there. Wow, oh look, they, they still got the uh, caps in there too. That's cool. This truck has been here a long time. <laughs> wow, very cool. There's a little uh, swing set over there. So, I have made it inside here. It's a lot of uh, cool old looking stuff in here. What's wrong? The floor is collapsed. Really? You can't walk in there. Oh, shit. I can't even walk in here. There's like all these pieces of. You can't walk in the front of it. Like, I would be careful here, even if it's slanted. Yeah. Like in the living room. See? The floor is literally... Oh, yeah, you're right. The whole floor feels funny. Yeah. Yeah, like, this is like sweat. Yeah, just be careful where you where you stab. I love how they have a picnic table in here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Like, if you want to, like, I don't know, take a look over there or not, but... It, uh... Like, oh. Like, your days... <laughs> Dude, literally, like, everything is here. Yeah, I know, right? Holy moly. That's cool. Holy f Crap. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go all that way. Yeah, be careful in here. It's not brick? It's not brick. Wow. Kind of, yeah. Whoa. My god. That's crazy. So we have run into a little bit of an issue with this one. So unfortunately, because the floors are kind of collapsing in this place, the area to walk across from the back of the house towards the front of the house is literally 
not impossible, but definitely very dangerous to do. Um, there's a spot here, but the problem is this is collapsed as well. Not good. Hopefully there's another door on the other side. So I am kind of uh, adventuring on here. Uh, we are supposed to go to a couple other places, so I may end up combining this video with something else. I don't really see any uh, any way to get there. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> We're gonna try doing it for the video, doing it for the fans. Um, so I am gonna actually be very careful here. I mean, I am pretty much like on the ground. I don't think this is gonna collapse any further. Oh, I made it. Cool. Um, I don't know how good this is. Just gotta be very, very careful. Um, this is actually kind of cool. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, guys, I found the way in. Where are you at? Yeah. Whoa. Look at this. This is cool. It's nice and easy to walk on. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you want to go that way. <laughs> no, I'm going to go this way. I mean, from here to there should be fine. <laughs> I'll let you do it first. Um, I'm going to wait for you guys, actually. <laughs> Wow, there's literally two uh, little kids walkie talkies. We've got some Lego. Um, this kind of looks like a, uh, a grandparent's cottage or like a small family cottage. I'm not too sure, but there definitely were kids at some point. Um, just kind of build a little bit of a story. It's kind of the one thing I like doing about these places. Like, I don't know if this place is specifically haunted or not, but obviously, when you kind of look at a lot of the old stuff, you kind of find like little clues of how they used to live. Um, a little bit of story about their life, things like that, which uh, are always intriguing. Yeah, we're hearing some weird Good. noise down there. I don't know what it is. It's like uh Is it the front of the property? It stopped now. There it is. I don't know what that is. That sounds like something in the house. Yeah, it's not in the house though, I don't think. There's a car coming. Up the driveway? Stay out of sight. That was weird, I don't know where that came from. Oh, that was creepy. That door literally just opened on its own. Be careful, this floor is not very uh, stable. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, this is very unstable. Right? <laughs> don't stand there very too, too long. Yeah, that was kind of creepy, yeah. Uh... Alright guys, if I uh, go through the floor, make sure you film it. Here, and there's a hole right there to your left. I know, that's why I'm like going around. Okay, made it. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Room, but that's okay, you can get it later. Yeah. That dumping, is that what you just talking about? Yeah. yeah. What is that? I don't know. Is there a highway near here that... No, dude, we're literally in the middle of nowhere. The road we took over here, the winding roads. I don't know what that is. That's weird. I don't know what's here. Will you take your time? Yeah. Maybe go one time upstairs. Yeah. Uh, the upstairs is actually okay, it appears. Here? Yeah, seems like it. It's a little, a little slanted. And there's also a uh, dead bird up here. Actually, yeah, you know what? Do one at a time. Yeah. Yeah, one at a time. <laughs> it's a little sketchy up here. We're not gonna spend too much time because these floors don't look that great. Holy crap, dude. Yeah. Got a full bedroom, like, literally move in ready. I don't know what that thumping noise is. Kind of trippy. Whoa. A little kid's bedroom here. 
All the books still here. Holy crap, man. Everything's literally like just in place. This is crazy. Whoa. Oh. What, the bedroom? Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, baby's bedroom. So I'm walking really incredibly slowly for this one. Whoa, look at this. Little dolls. Clothes are all still here. Everything. It's literally like completely untouched. Wow. Check that out. So I can't stay too long in here. I'm not going to do like a full investigation. Just kind of wanted to do an explore. Get a cool little look at this house. It, it is really, really neat. It's obviously a time capsule. Everything's obviously been sitting here at Man for a long time. Relatively untouched. But unfortunately the house is literally falling apart. And uh, we're all only coming up here one at a time. It's literally that dangerous. So definitely be sure to smash the like button. Because we're absolutely risking our lives at this point. I'll probably... Uh, Throw in a bunch of cinematics of this place, but I want you guys to get a really good look at this. This is cool. Looks like nothing, unfortunately. But it is pretty cool how this house is really set up. Like, all oh, this is perfectly placed here. Wow. I assume probably some explorers maybe came in here and uh, kind of did this, but it looks kind of like things, some things were originally already here. Look at all these little trinkets and whatnot. Very cool. Okay, back down the sketchy ass uh, staircase here. So, you guys went in that room or what? No, Do you don't not step, walk don't step it's the, bad in there? It's, it's gonna collapse okay. right there. The upstairs is pretty cool though, so no, it's not. it is. Nice. No, no, it is. All right, let me film myself falling through the floor here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's cool. I wanted to make sure that I didn't really miss anything over here. Um, not quite sure that this goes anywhere. Probably just a washroom like I thought, but at least I didn't miss it, which is pretty cool. Everything's still perfectly in place, as if they never left. Wow, that's neat. Here goes to a little uh, room. Not much going on in there. Sorry if I'm kind of shifting and moving a lot, but it's going to be a bit of a challenge to get through here. Oh wow, there's tons of stuff in here. Kind of glad I came back here. Appears to be a lot of uh, tools and toys and whatnot. Oh wow, this is cool. Tons of stuff. Stuff for swimming, like life vests and whatnot. Some uh, outdoor stuff, got a chair over there, little kids tractors, which is pretty cute. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for the house. Yep, that is it. Get another final glance here at the kitchen, see if we find anything cool. This stove is really aged. Wow, I'm not sure what year or era that's from. It is a Moffat. That's uh, definitely very old. I've seen a few of those, of that specific brand too, in uh, in some time capsules or very, very old houses before. Do you have a very old bathtub over here? I believe there's a creepy old outhouse out there too. I'm fascinated by how large this property is. Wow. It's like it literally goes on forever back there. That is so cool. Let's go check this out actually. See if you find any other neat little trinkets. Give you guys a little bit more content here, might as well. See there is a old lawnmower. Holy crap, this thing is just absolutely destroyed. Completely fell apart. 
Now we got a really old lawnmower. It's missing one of its wheels. Um, not sure there's anything in here. Let's get some light. I forgot my light was actually already on. Nothing in there. This is a really cool property though. This looks like a fun place to spend a summer. I mean, it's a tiny little house, but I guess it's more than enough for the people who lived here. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Oh, oh, it's a squirrel. Jesus. It's a chipmunk. Sorry, not even a squirrel. Sorry, little chipmunk. You kind of scared me for a second there. Yeah, I don't really think there... Oh, there is a little old outhouse. Oh, that's so funny. Out here, they don't really have plumbing. Everything's kind of on septic. Put the camera in there so you guys can see. I don't really know what's going on in there, but I think that's pretty much it for this property. We do have a couple other spots. Some that I, I, I do know are a little bit more of a guarantee. Um, this place is pretty cool though. It, it's uh, great for a little explore, a little time capsule video for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoy stuff like this. What are you doing, Carlo? Oh yeah, I like that. 